Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sunday stream. And let me get some stuff going. Okay. Ah. Okay. Of course there's got to be some problem when you start a stream. Sorry for the delay, I have to fix this. This is my uh, music thing not working. And if my music thing is not working... I can't have the music. <laughs> I need to have a notification on screen. I guess I need to update this little tool that I use for it. There's a lot of things going in conjunction to make a stream happen. <laughs> there's the streaming software and then the music software and then there's Minecraft of course and I have a, a multi-stream application running. Makes me broadcast over to all the three different sites. All of this good stuff. Because it's very likely that something breaks whenever I start. Close a few more things. Okay, so there's at least a new version of this thing. Hold on while I try to figure this out, please. All right, how about that? Does that work? That works! Yay! It's the wrong format, but whatever. It's good enough. <laughs> All right, so we are on the fan server. Uh, we, we'll see. This will probably be a little bit um, shorter stream than we normally do. Um, I went on a bike ride earlier today and beat <laughs> might have overdone it a little bit uh, and we also have some lag problems let's see uh, it seems to be okay for the moment but we have some lag problems on the server so why is that stuck on now really now I guess we'll just have the music notification up all the time. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so I'm in the nether. I went out here to basically collect stuff. I figured I want uh, a bunch of stuff for concrete. And there's a bunch of gravel in the nether that's just over, like, on top of things. So it's an easy way to get gravel. So I've got these two. Basically a whole bunch of gravel in this one. Oh, here we go. Some lag again. And a bunch of gravel. And of course I grabbed like nether quartz and glowstone and stuff while I've been out here too, so... That's pretty good. Problem is I'm kind of lost now. So I'm, I'm like a couple of thousand blocks out in another, which is fine, you know. That's perfectly fine. I just don't quite know where I came from. I went out to my nether fortress. And, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, I think what we'll do is we'll head towards negative X and then positive Z and just try to fly towards the center of the world. And that should get us home. Oh. Oh. Lag. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, that's the wrong way. We need to go left. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, didn't even fire. Okay, we're just we're just getting out of here. We'll see how bad this lag turns out to be. If it's too much, we might have to abort the stream. So this direction. We uh, don't know exactly where sort of the nether hub is, but it should be pretty close. I mean, you can see. You see stuff here. Whoops. Oh, come on, drink it. <laughs> wow. Should have food on my bar, too. That lag, though. That is a big problem. Where are we? We're still 800 blocks out. Really now? What? Yeah, this lag might be a really big problem. <laughs> if I could stop burning, maybe? That would be cool. It's a. Uh, it's been a long. Come on. No, it's it's really lagging pretty badly. Hmm. Yeah, look. It's taking several seconds for it to pop. Maybe I should restart the server. Yeah, maybe. It might be a good idea, actually. Because uh, this isn't working for sure. We have a bit of a problem with the server because we really want some of the tools and so we were running uh, spigot paper. Paper spigot, whatever. Because we wanted to have good performance on the server. We had lots of problems. And that was kind of successful. It did bring performance up. But it broke a whole bunch of other stuff. Like mob spawning was completely broken and uh, a bunch of other stuff too. Collisions. So we switched back to uh, to bucket. Three seconds by my count. Wow. Yeah, that's that's significant. Yeah, we switched back to bucket and it fixed all those problems. But then, of course, yeah. Now we have all those performance problems back again. So it's a bit silly. All right. We're gonna restart the server. Wow. Sleeping thing should be fixed though. Let's sit around here for a bit. And restart the server. Hello? Server, please? Server? I can have server, please? Yeah, it is struggling. Is it actually back up? It doesn't say that it's back up. Yes, it is back up. Okay, so for the moment, that seems okay. Can we fly now? Say orange if you want to watch the chat. What? Well, I said it, I guess. What? All right, we're, we're airborne. That's all that matters. All right, we want to be going this way. We hit something. Can't see what is happening either because of the fire. All right. 
uh, under here, maybe? You also want to be oop, fairly high up, because the nether hub is like up in the ceiling. Oh, here we go. This looks good. Maybe... Oh, come on. Oh, I know this place. <laughs> okay. Oh, that... Wow. The one person sleeping thing should be working. Alright, so... I believe... Just follow this now and we should get back to the hub. Wow. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's... 25% uh, of the people in the overworld. To be specific. Ooh. Fast running stretch. Not spectator, no. Of course not. Uh, uh, this way maybe? There should be a way up to the new nether hub somewhere. Stone Age, eh? First jungle. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Why does it just end here? Maybe that wasn't the way we should go. It might be this way. Okay, up here maybe. Yeah, this looks good. Hey, Jock. The server is... Well, that's useful. The server is not in Sweden, no. The server is uh, based in the US. I believe? If we didn't move it. Okay. Well, at least we're getting upwards, which is good. We're also close enough to beacon to get effects. Okay, now we're on the outside of the nether hub. That should be fine. We should be able to find a way in. There are plenty of, like, half-finished portals and stuff. Hey! Two, actually. This way. I should try to get uneasy alliance. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that would be something. Alright, so. What was in the uh, stream title was this little project of mine. It's an underwater reef project. Oh, I can make a boat now. Yay. Um, you can see here it lights up and it's connected to the lighthouse up there So when the light spins around the bottom of the ocean lights up to sort of simulate that it's a Lighthouse lighting up the world Even though of course that's far too far away for it to actually light up. So there's a bunch of lights hidden down here Well hidden not so hidden maybe uh, but the idea was If you look at any normal kind of Minecraft uh, ocean or just river or whatever, like bottom of water. It's... Let's go over here. It's kind of bland and boring, isn't it? It's like yellow and then just turns away into nothing. So I kind of want to rebuild it. And uh, make it nice and lush. Kind of like if you look at a picture of the Caribbean or, or something like that. Or the Mediterranean, you like this... Nice. What? Well, somebody has... Somebody's broke stuff. Alright, anyway. Um, if you look at the picture of that, then what you'll see is like super blue and green and everything looks very nice. So that's what I try to do here. So we have 
the the light blue wool, then we have the prismarine, then we have green, then we have the cyan wool, I think that is. And then... What are we looking at? Cyan wool, yeah. And then there's, at the bottom, there's blue wool. Which is great, like, even the colors of those have been improved for this version, so... So, it's better, but now we have concrete, which is even more colorful, and perhaps a better thing. So, I'm actually considering replacing all of this with concrete, which is why I went to the nether and got all those things. Use night vision. Yeah, that might be something. We're gonna grab some stuff. I guess an ender pearl should work even if we were lagging. But that didn't look like we were lagging that much. Uh, but over here we have... A few potions of water breathing that somebody made during one of the streams when I was having to go out for air. So we have that. And actually we can just... Let's see, I have my magical drink cabinet. Do I have any night vision? Doesn't look like it, does it? Nope. I have to make night vision potions then. Might not be worth it, I don't know. Maybe this. Uh, there, maybe? Yeah, the server's kind of having a little bit of a struggle keeping up. There's a bunch of uh, sort of tick change things going on. Oh yeah. Somebody donated a lime. <laughs> but if you look at it from this side, it's just broken. <laughs> Alright, let's head down. Maybe we have... Really? Maybe we have some stuff down here. Night mission stuff. Don't know if we have a... Yeah, we have... That. Weakness... Oh, look. Okay, we had two of them. Good, good. Now, the, the next pro um, problem... Alright, so about the server, it is uh, open to connections, so if you see here, there's four people on that are sort of uh, italic names, and they are in spectator mode. So basically what you happens if you join the server is you end up in spectator mode. And if you want to play in survival mode, you have to apply for it, and the application is through a uh, form, there's a Google form, there's a link on the page at slicedlime.tv slash server. So that's where you need to go. And then just sign up there. And there's a random draw. We usually do them at the end of uh, streams from the fan server. And that's all, really. If, uh, so you're sort of you're uh, bound by random chance. That's basically it. Uh, all the info is on that page too, so... It's a lot of entities, actually. I am wondering... I am... Let's uh, go take a look here. Uh, but yeah, if you don't like uh, having to trust a random chance, you can also become a patron. Uh, help uh, pay for the server, basically, and then you get a spot on it. Uh, let's take a quick look over here, because I have my villager breeder over here. And it is on, so it it might have might have gone ever so slightly crazy. Now this is how many people are reply. There's like a list of over three hundred people on that. So you got to be pretty lucky if you wanna. Well, this looks pretty okay. I mean, this there yeah, there's some villagers here, but it's not like the room is crazy full of villagers. So that should be fine. That shouldn't be why the server is having trouble. 
Alright, so anyway, what I went over here for is, uh, if we go down here... And look up, this is the bottom of it. And this is why it's a problem. Because if you want to replace these, you can see that there's ocean above it, it's dripping. You can also see... There's redstone below it. Those things don't match very well. So there's that. What editing software do I use? Uh, uh, Vegas Pro. So one thing we could do is you try to find a section here where it's a little bit safe and then try it out there and see how it looks from above. I guess that might be the best, best option. Yeah, probably. First of all, though, we gotta make that concrete. Which means, uh, going... Actually, I think I have all the stuff with me to do that. I just need to grab it out of here. So we have a bunch of gravel in this, a bunch of gravel in this. Let's sort of redo this a little bit. So, try. oh god. So much junk in my inventory. I also had to grab, like, a bunch of wood and stuff to get the tutorials to go away. <laughs> that didn't help. Uh, try to get all of this into one chalker box instead of split into two. That's the idea. So don't need to worry about this one anymore. And that's that. It's fine. Alright, so we have a bunch of that now. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going to I'm going to get rid of those because they are getting quite annoying. All right, we need sand and we need the dyes, and I just realized that I don't have sand here. Yeah, I have a moving cape. It's more visible if you do that. But I'm going to put these back on, because otherwise I'm going to forget, and it's going to be horrible. Alright, uh, sand. Alright, we have plenty of that, so that's fine. Let's grab maybe four stacks. Hey, new recipes. Who would have thought? Oh, yeah. reason I have that is because I work uh, at Moyang, and... I work with the uh, pocket edition. Um, this one is dice. So what do we have in here? We're gonna need this, and we're gonna need. I guess we're try this, and this. I might as well grab whole stacks then. Uh, we're running a little bit low on light blue. We're gonna need more than eight blocks of that to see how good it's gonna look. So we're gonna need that, but that's fine. We have the components for it. Uh, what did I? Oh, here. I get rid of this stuff, and we can throw these in here, maybe. So much junk. Uh, bones. These are shulker boxes full of bones, by the way. So we have some of that. <laughs> Alright, we are gonna need another one of the boxes in here, which is my precious minerals one. Where basically I have all my all my ores and stuff. So here we have a bunch of lapis. Let's maybe grab one more block. And just split that apart. Okay, so we're definitely going to want more light ones, maybe. 
Yeah, let's do, let's do that. And we have nine of those. That should be okay. Two viewers on Twitch. Yeah, Twitch is... Twitch is not popular today. <laughs> We're up to eight on Mixer. Have some graveling. No! My OCD. I really want, I want a way to lock these. That would be good. Uh, yeah, the next problem is we're gonna run out of inventory space real quick here. Can someone sleep? I have a bed up here. So see, this should work. Oh yeah. It's a bit quick right now, but uh, it works. Prefer Twitch or YouTube? Um, I like that there's competition for YouTube, but I don't like Twitch's uh, like uh, agreements and stuff. The way they try to strong arm everybody to to just exclusively give rights to Twitch. Uh, anyway. See, we can make concrete. So we're gonna make... Dang it, I'm gonna run out of space so quickly here. We're definitely gonna want green. So we're gonna make... Let's make a stack of that. Well, I could have just kept that recipe, couldn't I? <laughs> now we can't even can't even get this stuff back into our inventory because we're so out of space. So let's, okay, we made the green one, we're gonna need... Hello? Fine, we'll just throw some gravel on the ground for a bit then. Grab one stack of those too. Oh. Disconnect from the chat server. Stream still running okay by the looks of things. Okay, so now we have two colors. Uh, we're gonna need this too, though. Okay. And now we're out of gravel. But that's okay, now we can put some of this stuff away. Because now, yeah. We're just so out of space. Uh, we've done this, we've done this. We've, that's lame, right? Yeah, we've done that. We don't need more white. Okay. That should be fine. It's a 31 second delay between Minecraft and the stream. That's, that's okay. That's a normal stream delay. Where do I get my streaming music from? Um, all over the place, really. So, it kind of depends on... Uh, this one is just playing off of Spotify at the moment, because... I happen to know that approaching Nirvana is okay with you using their music in streams <laughs> and in videos. So that's okay. Uh, a whole bunch of the other music I play is just off of uh, SoundCloud and stuff. And it's specifically chosen because I uh, I like look for music that is uh, Creative Commons licensed. Which basically means that you can use it for whatever you want as long as you give cre credit. So we need blue. Oh, that was slow. Yeah, we might not be at it for that long today because of this lag. But we'll try to try to get some some parts of it done. Uh yeah, let's grab some of this too. I'm not quite sure like how this is gonna fit into the color of scale that we have at the moment, but Yeah. Well, we'll see. We might want to mix too. Might want to mix uh, wool with uh, concrete, maybe. I don't know if that's going to look ridiculous or something though, but it might be worth it. Oh, come on. Oh, no. So 
So currently we have light blue, then prismarine, then lime, then cyan, then blue. So light blue, then sort of a, I don't even know what call color. So we have light blue, something lime. We don't have green. But maybe this is a color scale of her work. So light blue, cyan, green, or lime, green, and then blue. Where we mix in, do I have somewhere? I had a bunch of wool <laughs> from the this project. It's probably in one of the shulker boxes somewhere. This will work though. Uh, at least a couple of them. But it, at least it lets us see the difference. So I'm just gonna sort of build a little progression over here. Okay, that's okay. That's gonna be a problem because it's not gonna look like this. It would be, actually be awesome if we could have it look like this. Um, because that would be more like a the ocean bottom, the texture of the ocean bottom. But th as soon as we put this in water, this should be. This will become actual concrete. So that's not gonna work. And if I put them in water now to make them th into concrete, then uh, it's not going to stack with these anymore. But I guess we'll live a bit. Could put glass over it. Yeah, but... And that's going to look even more weird, I think. There's just a layer of glass randomly over at the bottom. We'll do this. Washed away one torch. That was a decent result, I guess. So, this is how it's going to look. So if we're going to be doing that... And then we would have green before it. Did I not... Uh, let's see, did we have some white wool here? Okay, uh, I'm going to go try to... I think I actually put them down back into storage. Um, so there's a question about this door that we're about to go through, by the way. Um, it's a key lock door, and it's based on that item filter. It will give me back this book. This book is made by me, and it's a copy of the original, which means that Nobody else can enter if you don't have one of these. And because it's a copy of original, if you make a copy of this, then it becomes a copy of the copy of the original, so that doesn't work. So you have to have one of these, and only I have the original, so only I can make more copies. Um, somebody asked if there's a tutorial for it. There is not. Uh, I th there's probably like tons of tutorials for stuff like that on YouTube. So I haven't bothered making one. Uh, if there isn't any though, maybe it's worth doing. All right, so way at the end here, we have all the wool, which we gathered for this project, basically. So we <laughs> have a bunch of that. This is going to be very annoying. Uh, let's put away the sand and let's put away this gravel. You're an spectator, you can just jump to me. Alright, so... That lag though. Okay, we have lime, wool, and concrete. We want light blue wool, and we want green wool. So that's just blue, which we had up there already. <laughs> Here's a little bit of light blue wool. <laughs> just a little. Um, here we go. Uh, we wanted green. So that should be all the colors that we were kind of looking at. Alright, what do I miss most from older versions of Minecraft? Hmm. 
To be honest, I think the only thing that has really, really gone missing, if you're gonna look at like compatibility and stuff, is some of the mods that used to exist for older versions don't exist for current versions. And I would love to see some of them. Uh, like Terraformacraft is being updated uh, into Terraformacraft 2, but that's like super far away from being complete. But I would love to see see some of the mods again. Okay, we wanted to put that down. Uh, shouldn't have it there though. Yeah, okay, the other way around. Concrete powder. All right, and water. This is kind of annoying. No, no, no. Kind of don't have building blocks. Let's make, make let's build out of iron. Or actually, I can just let's see. I can do just do this. Oh, and it's of course, and I fall down. Somebody leave a creeper hole here. Looks like it. Alright, but there we have the concrete anyway. I don't know about this. I don't... nah. If we're gonna do this, it's, it's gonna look weird with the, the texture change like this. I think it would be better to just do concrete. All right. That was invisible. Or it was like super well hidden or something. Okay, so we wanted green then, not that. Well, we want the lime. And then <laughs> it's really hard to tell the difference in the inventory. This, I think? Yes. And then... This. Alright, that should be good. That's a pretty okay gradient. It's a little bit weird the switch from here. This is why I didn't have all the colors before, I think. Uh And I can't pick things. This is super annoying. Do we have space in this still? Yeah, we do. Let's put all of the wool, 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 and wool, and wool. Let's put all of those away. Um, Louis, uh, this is a, a hosted server, so we'll just need to look into what it is and what we can do to fix it. Is that better, maybe? Like, that's a smoother transition between here, but we go... we go kind of from light to dark to light again to dark. Which is a little bit weird. So what we currently have... is sort of... Blue, greenish, even more green, then back to blue, and then more blue. And we don't have the dark green anywhere. So we have this this weird layer of different texture in between. I mean, I guess we could look at uh, terracotta too. Where do I have any of that? Ooh. 
This needs to be patched up. It's not okay. <laughs> to fill this in properly. Rip stream. I can still see it. <laughs> it is the name for stained cotton clay. It's called terracotta now. <laughs> Get with the times. And also, it's a noise swing, see, so I'm gonna keep saying it. <laughs> Hashtag bring back heart and clay. Uh, the bigger question is do I have any? Oh, yeah, here. Uh, so is this might, because this is also smooth texture, it might be uh, a nice sort of in between. Uh, but realistically, only the green ones. This is uh, undyed stuff. Like, how does blue look? I know cyan looks like entirely uh, gray, basically. It used to be a. How does this look? Yeah, that's kind of purple. Don't think we want that. Wait. Yeah, plain. Um, but let's try these out. Those two could be a good sort of in-between. The way this thing works, by the way, for those who asked, it's, it's an item filter hidden under here. So this leads into a hopper that leads into an item filter that either goes um, and triggers the door opening and sends the item this way to pop back up if it's the correct item, or it sends it off to the side and it'll pop up here. Uh, if it's not the correct item. So actually, let me let me throw in like something. If you throw that in, it's gonna pop back up here. So, I'm not gonna steal people's items if they try to use uh, the wrong thing as a key. Oops. But uh, it's also not gonna open the door. Alright, so experiment over here. Okay. Hello. Really? There we go. Ding ding. All right. So, um, green and lime. How do these look? I mean, this kind of has to change, but maybe. We could do this, and then... Green concrete. Or maybe the other way around. So we do green... Here. They could, uh, they could work, it's like... Bright in the beginning. Then... Lime terracotta. Uh, green terracotta. Green concrete. Blue concrete. At this point, I'm actually worried that we're having too many things. It's too many steps. Maybe remove one of these two. I'm gonna get rich of YouTube. Good luck with that. Alright, so since people have been asking for a lot of time here, and it's not going away, even though I've been ignoring it, um, what do I think about the new Minecraft store in Pocket Edition and Win 10 Edition? So, um, basically, there, there are two parts of it. One is that the, you pay for coins, and the reason for that is simply that you can then use those coins on all the platforms, and we don't have to update the game if prices change or anything, so it's just a it's just better that way. 
Um, the other is that it's community content. So it's just basically a way of letting people sell their content on the store. Which I think is good, because honestly, otherwise, people... What people have been doing this far is using Adfly and stuff. Which is like super shady websites that shows all kind of... All kind of weird commercials and sensitive weird pages that infect your computer or whatever. It's just really not a good situation. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm happy there's a legitimate way for people to sell their content. And at the end of the day, like, Pocket Edition, in my opinion, is still ways behind Java Edition in terms of features and everything. And it, for mapmakers, kind of terrible at the moment. I'm working on parts of that, and there's other people working on other parts of it. But uh, it has a way to go. But once we sort of catch up, that's going to be awesome because people can actually afford to spend their time making stuff for the game and then you can buy it and play it. Uh, kind of decently happy with this layout though. I think this could work. And I think this is actually one more than what we had before. So one, two, three, six, six steps. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we only had five. Which is kind of okay, because this is like, it's three steps up here, then lots of cyan, and then the rest is blue. So we can split the cyan part into two, maybe? It's actually a case for even having one more, and having it at the way bottom. Actually, maybe... Let's go actually try out that blue, blue terracotta. It's called Windows 10 Edition. <laughs> it depends on which version you're, of it you're playing. <laughs> but yeah, it's, the, the naming is a little bit of a mess. But yeah, it's, uh, Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition are kind of the same thing, somebody said, and they are actually kind of exactly the same thing. Uh, I guess let's make a stack then. Because why not? Uh, this, there, that, go, go, thank you, there we go. A little bit concerned with this lag, we'll have to work on that. Uh, so, cheating and mods and questions. Uh, so, something we're working on should just be called C Sharp Edition. It's, there's no C Sharp in it. Um. I've been slabbing the nether for wood that can some farm. It would be a lot more colorful if there were concrete slabs. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, we're running out of blocks, though, in the current version. So the next version is going to update the format of the world and sort of remove the limit of the blocks. Because currently, I think we have, like, one... It's either one or two available block IDs, and then we're out. We can't add anything more to the game. Huh. Switch them? I don't think so. I don't think that will be better, but I need to try it. Uh, Pocket Edition and Win 10 Edition is written in C++. I, to be completely honest, I don't know what slabs and whatever else it will add. Yeah, maybe do this then. I am not like. 
I don't really like this color as much, but it's going to represent the very deepest of the ocean, which is maybe okay, and it's, you're basically gonna see it through a whole lot of water anyway. That could work. So we split the... Hello. We split the, uh, the blue section... No, we split the cyan section into these, and then we split the blue section into these. And then it's just the small matter of actually replacing the things without breaking all the redstone. Which will be fun. Do I prefer the new crafting system on PC or the crafting system on console? I actually haven't played on console. Uh, I've seen it, but I haven't played on it. So I, I can't really honestly answer that in a good way. Okay, so we can take away these. Alright, and I should have put that over here, because <laughs> it's over here where we needed it. Can you stop moving for a second? Okay, blue, cyan, green is the first steps. Are you going to do that all that by hand? Yeah, well, there's no other way to do it, really. Blue, cyan, green. Uh, how am I... Let's, uh... Where is it? Water breathing. Let's just get that down so we don't have to worry about this. Alright. Now. <laughs> I could just do this, I guess. It's a little bit... It's precarious because I don't know where there's stuff under it and where there isn't. Well, we're going to fill in that, too. Isn't that nicer? Without the weird wool texture and stuff. And the the the, the gradient is going to be nicer. Um, crafting on console looks like crafting on PE, but with... Ooh, 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 oh. Bad, bad. Uh, but with a controller, I don't quite agree. It looks a little bit different and has sort of more support for finding stuff easily. Whee! So you'd like to live dangerously. If you're if you're talking about this, we're we're not. We're not close to the redstone yet, it's, it's a couple of layers down. Why is this like a cliff side? Just remove a couple of these. Like that, have it a little bit smoother. All right, so we'll do, we'll do up to the ship here maybe. Then the skipping of the night system is a lot better now. So much easier to work with when it's a function. One more. Yeah, I, I also, sorry if I missed your chats, because there's three chats going on, four chats going on. Um, there's the in-game one, there's the one on YouTube, there's the one on uh, Mixer, <laughs> and then there's the one on Twitch. So, I will miss stuff, because there's a lot of stuff going on, and I'm kind of trying to play the game too. <laughs> so, if I haven't seen something, and just ask again, just don't spam it, just like wait for a while and ask again. Oh. I fall down. Get some shears, mines wool faster. Yeah, but the problem is then I, yeah, well, I guess I could, I guess I could put this in my offhand. I have some somewhere, but I can't be arsed to find them. So yeah, let's, why not? It's another little kind of weird section, but whatever. We'll, we'll, We'll live with it. 
Alright, uh, we have this side too, I guess. We have 17 blocks left, so let's maybe focus on sort of the center. We can always make more, but I kind of want to make a small section of this first. And not like go all the way around and then realize that it's terrible and I should never have done it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay then. What's the new skipping the night system? I made one that uses a loop to make it exactly like single player. Uh, I'm using a, a concept based on binary search to as efficiently as possible skip the night. And it overshoots by at most... What? Do I have... I guess let's place that down then. Alright, uh, it overshoots by at most I think 10 seconds or something like that. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't need a perfect match and it's also not quite possible to get a per perfect match. At least not with the, the way it handles weather. But it's good enough. Alright, so we want to sign next. Uh... Um, let's maybe go down below and check. Because I'm now I'm not quite sure. Uh, not quite sure when we start running into problems with it. No! That's bad. Accidentally right clicked. What am I doing? I'm replacing my my uh, underwater reef project with the uh, concrete because it looks nicer. So the whole project is there to replace the bottom of the ocean with something that looks nicer. Uh, but now we have even nicer colors, so I'm gonna try them out and hopefully keep them if they if they look nice. All right, so we're gonna be yeah, we're like way up there. So the green ones will start to let in some water, but on this side, it's really not a problem anyway. I just read your server rules, it says nothing about hacked clients, I'm guessing those aren't allowed though. Yeah, that's a good guess. <laughs> we, uh, we're, we're been discussing some exact rule set for what mods we allow and stuff. Oh, come on. Put a tunnel around the redstone so it doesn't break. Yeah, I might have to do that. Uh, where am I going? This way. But for the moment, I don't know if some some of it is like right below the, the wool box too. So it's going to be interesting. We'll see. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yeah, we are lagging pretty bad right now. There we go! Wow! Okay, yeah, this this is this is a problem. This music makes everything seem intense. Yeah, it's epic, isn't it? You can do whatever, you can just go cook some food, have this music on, and everything looks everything feels like you're in Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, I like that so much better. There's no like big disconnect and these ones are the ones that are most visible. So... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, you literally have... You literally have help text for why you're in survival. Because if you are in spectator mode, it comes up in the server.
I haven't noticed that sound cat, but if you if you see that, then feel free to to tell them about it. What do I think of the brighter bull colors? I think they're okay. I the only real problem with changing something like that is because people already have built with it. And oh, here we go. Apparently there was a one space where we f could fall down from these two. Well, oh, come on. <laughs> Up we go again. Uh, are the devs for PE redstone for redstone for PE going to fix the redstone torch sound? I I don't even know what they they were thinking about that one, to be honest. It's, it's just terrible. Uh, I haven't checked it specifically. I hope they're going to fix it. As far as I know, the torches don't actually like burn out in redstone. So in, in pocket, I mean. So uh, I think they might just not have understood how that works or something. My website says the fan server is 1.11, but it's actually 1.12, right? Yeah, it is. It's That's just me being uh, slow at updating it. I uh, had not considered that I needed to update that. Completely forgot that this page says which version it's on, but uh, you're absolutely right. Oh, now we're, now we're under the wall blocks again. So, we possibly don't need to make any more here? This is a bit silly, though, that we have, like, five blocks over here. Might as well do these. So I don't have this, the rest of this in... ...in my inventory. There we go. Oh, we're out of, uh, potion. Not that it matters that much, but we can go get another one. Hello! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Far away from running out of that for a moment, though. Close enough. Uh. Oh, okay. Um. Um. Fine, we'll just dump stuff in here. Not that. Actually, you dump stuff in this one. Because it isn't quite full yet. So you can put that in there. One piece of dirt. This is great. Right, we'll do that. That will be fine. Uh, I'm going to drink this and then put the bottle away. And we should be a good... I don't currently play on any other servers at the moment. Uh, don't really have time to play on uh, many different servers. And, uh, until I can sort of motivate moving on to another server, then I'm not going to. And it's basically what that would entail would be like one of the big YouTuber servers or something. That would be, that would be worth it for sure. But un until like I get an offer to join one of those, then I'm not. <laughs> All right. And here we're just going to accept that we will probably flood the ca cave below. Like here. And it's fine. Because there's no redstone there. We might break, break a bunch of torches though. Um, any tips for starters at YouTube? So that's an interesting topic. It comes up a lot. Um, I would say... If you're... If you want to sort of make it as a channel... Be ready that it's going to be a lot more work than you think it is. <laughs> and consistency is fairly important. So whenever you whenever you don't post for a while, if you go away for too long, then your channel kind of dies off and YouTube stops recommending stuff and 
people sort of forget about your channel, even the people you have subscribed. So when you come back, then nobody's watching. Uh, there's uh, a really good resource on Reddit. Uh, it's, the subreddit is called Let's Play. Uh, and it has a, an FAQ section, a wiki section and stuff. So if, you, if you're serious about starting a YouTube channel, go there and read a bunch of stuff there. Uh, and you can post there too if you have questions and stuff. So that's really nice. Uh, the thing that I see there a lot is people who go like, Oh, I, I took a break from YouTube for four months and now I'm back and nobody's watching my stuff. And like, yeah, <laughs> that's why. Other than that, like, what, what you what content you're making is going to make or break your channel. And if your plan is to, I want to start a Minecraft channel and do Minecraft on it with nothing in particular to draw people in, then you're not going to have a good time. <laughs> it's such a saturated market. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have actually left the Minecraft Let's Play space because they didn't like the competition. I mean, I'm obviously making a channel and it's and it's working <laughs> like it's it's growing. So obviously it's not that terrible. Yeah, that's kind of a harsh shift in colors. Did I not have it? Yeah, I did have green. It just looks a little bit different underwater. So yeah, just if you're if you're making If you're making a channel, consider what it is that you have to bring that is uh, unique to you, I guess you could say. Uh, no, 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 no. This is the best I can come up with. It's th there, There's a little bit of a harsh shift between these two. It's a hundred years of inactivity till your channel is deleted, I think. I don't think there are any rules like that. How do I have water breathing when I'm in water? Because I drank a potion. Use wool as well as concrete? That We tried that first. I didn't like the looks of it. Okay. So with that... We're going to move on to this one, isn't it? Yeah. And now, let's see, because this one is going to get split. So we, this, I think it's four layers. Yeah. So the bottom, no, it's five. Oh. Uh huh. So we have one, one, one currently. Let's maybe do two of this. Because now we're going to have even more. So let's maybe do two of this. And either two or three. Of the next one. But let's do two of this first. There's been this YouTuber who's blowing up because of one video. Yeah, sure. That happens all the time. Uh, Alright, it's terracotta. So I was looking for a piece of concrete. This vanilla uh, Minecraft, yes it is. So this is all... Yeah, this, that's all uh, green. So it's over here that it starts. This is probably going to flood the place underneath again. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. That's some odd shading. Ah, whatever. We'll do it. Scary music, super dramatic building of underwater stuff. So that is one thing that cannot be denied while we're on the subject of YouTube channels and success of YouTube channels and stuff. There is a, an element of luck. There's definitely an element of luck. Nobody really truly understands exactly how the YouTube algorithms work that promote channels. If you just end up getting a super lucky break, then yes, that can make a channel. 
Uh, but that's not something you can count on. And a lot of people will complain about it because it's only luck. And if you go and look at how they're running their channel, it's like very, very far away from... from good. <laughs> yeah. Why is it not placing that? Have you ever shown your face? Oh yeah. I used to run with a face cam on streams. I've, I've just <laughs> been a little bit lazy lately to um, set my webcam up. I've been moving it around a bunch and stuff, so I haven't set it up. I should do that soon again though. Okay, this is a little bit annoying. Uh. But yeah, I'm always I'm always a little bit suspicious when I see people go like ah it's only luck and then you look at their channel and they like they post one video a month. And it's like, yeah, if you're going to do that, you're not going to ever be lucky. Also realize that um, you're not going to get rich <laughs> on that subject. Like, uh, it's in the terms that you can't... Uh, well, actually, you can disclose exactly how much you make, but you can't disclose how much you make from a single video or any detailed stats. Uh... But, essentially, with 13,000 subscribers and, like, what, half a million watch minutes a, a, a month, I make, I still, I think I'm maybe approaching the point where I'm like break even, where, where, um, the amount of money that I've put into running this channel is less than the amount of money that I've gotten back. So that kind of tells you something about uh, the amount of money involved. Uh, and we're talking like those those one videos a month. We're talking, we're talking a let's play video. We're not talking like some super fancy animation or or cut together or something. We're talking normal let's play channels here. All right, so that's run out. Okay, so we have two layers of that. That's okay. We are now moving on to this, right? I'm gonna have to switch out the glass there too. I might want black glass actually, just to sort of hide the lamp a little bit more. Yeah, we're going this and then blue and then the blue terracotta. Um, C920, actually. The C922 didn't even exist back then, I think. It's the face cam. What gave you this idea? Like, the reef? Um, it was just something I... <laughs> I don't know. It's been an idea I had for a long time. Wait, I still have... I still have 12 of terracotta. Uh, I guess we can go out here then just to not have those in our inventory. Why did I decide to do YouTube? Um, part of it was that I, like many others, like watched other people do YouTube and was inspired by that. Um, Part of it was that, as a game developer, I'm, I'm sort of super creative in nature. 
I, I can't stop making things all the time. And uh, back then, I was not allowed to do anything other than my work game development. So I wasn't allowed to make a game in my spare time because of my contract. So basically, I just uh, went, well, I can make Minecraft stuff. Let's, uh, I can do Minecraft stuff on YouTube instead. Oh. How many developers for Minecraft Pocket Edition do YouTube? And which ones? Uh... Not sure there's any other. I'm a little bit worried by how far in we're getting on this. Because that's a lamp. That means... Well, it's apparently still working because it's lighting up. But that means there's redstone under here somewhere. So we should probably take a break from this now and go look how things are... Uh, what chaos we have brought down here. And what uh, maybe we should do to encase it. Like somebody suggested to just put a sort of tunnel around it. Oh, hey, Andy. Long time no see. And I don't, like, the question about the snowballs and eggs and stuff, I have no idea. Stone Age, really? Did you, uh, did you use a green screen? Why did it look so weird? Um... If you're looking at the one that is the most recent uh, charity stream, there uh, I used a an application that's basically using an AI system to simulate having a green screen. You've stolen my wool block. Dang zombie! I shoot you in the face, or smack you in the face, or both. Uh, there's, there's also a spider somewhere. <laughs> I need those. And I want these. I'm running out of pearls. Thing is, I have... I've made a... I bought a bunch of fabric and stuff. And made a green screen. Uh, it just doesn't properly work with my setup. Which is highly annoying. Um, so, so I was using that instead. Okay, so we have... Alright, there's probably a couple of more torches we need here. We have redstone... So this is the problem right here. This is the next block I want to switch. I... Th no, wait. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> This is this block right here that I'm pointing at. And right under it is redstone. So I can't really replace that. I can't encase it in a tunnel. All right. The only thing I can do is is replace it and rapidly place another block. Which, I guess, is worth trying. Why are these not stacked? Uh, this is the one I want. And I want this on my bar. So, if we quickly do this, we might not wreck this redstone. That worked. And we're gonna have to do that all along here. It's gonna be very annoying. It is very annoying. Did I get it? No. Where did it go? I heard a plop. I, g I guess I got... 
Did you just break it? What's the repeater here? Uh... Or am I blind? Is it here? No. And it's also not here. I guess it just broke. Outright broke. That sucks. Um, on my previous channel, I uploaded like Minecraft and Lego videos, got 50 views. Suddenly, I uploaded a Lego video which was 11 seconds and showed no way near done Lego train. I uh, just started train crossing with a 3.2 megapixel camera, and that video got 11.5k views. It does that sometimes, this YouTube thing. It will just like randomly, for whatever reason, promote one of your videos, and suddenly that goes, oh, wow, that is a very dark red now. Suddenly you, your stuff just goes, just blows up, and there's, there's, I can't explain it, I think most people can't explain it. It's just a, like, YouTube decides on its own to help you out for a bit. Oh. Oh, oh. I think it was set to one? I'm not quite sure. It's my favorite server, I mean it's gonna have to be this one. If, you, if you're talking about a server I play on, because this is the only one I play on. Uh... Do I like YouTube gaming better than YouTube, or are you talking about the actual icons? <laughs> I don't use YouTube gaming much. I haven't actually kind of seen the point. Alright, and now, that we can cover up, and I believe, well, okay, we need to cover up here, under there, that potentially would fall on some redstone, but other, whoops, other than that, I think it would be okay. Uh, and then we have these over here. <sighs> if you're in spectator mode, uh, I got something. You can uh, just jump to me. Just uh, use the, the number keys to navigate. Alright, we're going to have to do the same thing here. Alright, that, that is okay. Same thing here. And then this we can cover up, and it goes over the other way. So I think we can cover that and that, and it should be okay. Should be the operative word here. Maybe we should just uh, cover up a couple more. <laughs> I'm still a little bit worried that this will spread in some way I haven't anticipated. But okay. Let's go back up and finish from the top side. Where would you say the best place to find sand and gravel? Like, obviously, a desert is going to be great for sand. Because you can just go, uh, you can just get tons and tons and tons of it there without having to stop, basically. Um, gravel is harder. Um, like, I went into the nether to get some. I thought, like, hey, there's a bunch of it exposed in the nether. That's going to be great. Uh, there wasn't as much as I thought. <laughs> so, I don't know. There might be some... S there might be some better place. Um, Alright, how does this look now? Alright, yeah, we can clearly see where we replace these things. Oh. Oh, I actually kind of need to replace the ones on the side there, too, even though it's under something. Gravel's at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, I know, but there's this is also a very annoying way to mine it. Can I remove this without... 
Oh, okay. So we're going to have to make that block change from underneath. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Oh god, this is kind of annoying having to do it this way. Don't need rotten flesh. Okay. Alright. This is kind of the end of where we're switching it. No! Uh. To any of the developers for PC, PE, and console... Oh, I'm about to round. Um, for redstone, create redstone circuits office often or use redstone circuits off. I, I don't know exactly how, how the people who are working on redstone for PE do it. Like, oh, come on. Oh. Ah, huh. dang. Uh, I guess we'll do that then, for now. It's not what I meant to do. I just wanted to come here and grab a potion, that's all. So let's replace that. How are my bubbles dropping so slowly you don't have the effect? Um, that is because... Respiration 3. Wouldn't do it normally, then place the redstone again, make a faster process than carefully replacing the blocks? Uh, maybe. That also does mean, though, that I would have to know exactly how the redstone is set up. <laughs> I'd have to know the delay of every repeater and so on. So I would rather not break it if I can help it. Using up a lot of... Ooh, that's pretty. This needs to be replaced, though. I think black might be nicer. Next time you use a green screen, try using dark green. It works better. I, I tried so many things. <laughs> I think most of the, mostly it was a problem because I had, like... I didn't really get quality video signal out of the camera. Oh, come on. Uh, we have three of those now. Placing them a little bit too soon, just because I don't want to risk it. Yeah. 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 Nice. Oh, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's glass. <laughs> I tried using blue screen, but had to reboot my computer. Well done, sir. Sir Madden. Well done. Alright, let's uh, replace these over here, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah, it should be okay. Uh... I'm thinking we're going to run out of these before I'm kind of anywhere near done with this section. So I don't know how to... I guess we're past this bit, but on the other hand... It goes a lot deeper here, so you kind of have to replace more to even see the difference. Oh, now we're on the third layer. What? Was that not me who took damage? Okay, this sucks. This really does suck, because I kind of... Yeah, this is the fourth layer. Uh, I kind of wanted two of this color, right? Uh, no, wait, this is... Oh, they're so, so, okay. They're so similar underwater. Let's use a night mission. 
please. There we go. Huh. That is a very subtle... It's a very subtle color change. So we're in layer 2 now. <laughs> That's so subtle it might not even be worth it, to be honest. Uh... Actually, it does make a difference, and it's... <laughs> it's... maybe it's not visible just because it looks kind of natural. All right, well, that, that works. Ah, uh, of course. There's nothing to place against here. All right. So, to, to, so this is the second layer of that, and then to properly test it out, we kind of need to replace at least this and this with blue, and then two more layers with purple or whatever. Uh, actually, this. Blue terracotta. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of this before before we get that far. Uh, please keep YouTube chat in English. Do you like the new 1.12 creative inventory layout? Well, the, the thing is, I don't necessarily like that it's changed, but it's, uh, the, the function that is the reason that they changed it is a really good one. So, I will accept that. No! Okay. And now we need to put these four ones on a second. Do you only play Minecraft? No, I play other stuff. I have a Mass Effect Andromeda run on my channel. And uh, I play other stuff. I don't necessarily record everything, but I play other stuff. We need more. Yeah, I have to make more. We always work, almost work through uh, a full shear. Please don't ask for shoutouts. It's not happening. Uh, we needed. Oh, chat disconnected. It's half a stack of sand, right? What? So we did get it back. So I will never understand people who just go to streams to ask for shoutouts and if they don't get it, they leave. Like. I'm sorry, but that's not the per kind of person I'm looking for in my community anyway. So, see ya, I guess. Put this away. Don't need that anymore. Okay, what was it I needed now? <laughs> I don't even remember. Was it green? happened to all the spectators? I guess they left. <laughs> uh, mixer chat appears to be offline for me at the moment, so if you're saying something there, I won't see it. I'm sorry. It's green, right? 
Last pearl. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's green concrete. That's what we're making. GG me. So we're probably not going to run that much longer. There's also the um, the Microsoft press conference from E3 in like an hour and a half at this point. Check out I want to see. It should be cool. Should have some cool stuff. So uh, we definitely won't run further than that. We probably won't run more than like half an hour or more. I just want to I was want to get this replaced done so I can see if it looks good, basically. Alright. Uh, okay. Those in our offhand, eat cake. <laughs> really? Three subs to lead. Yeah, no. It's lead. <laughs> uh, put this back in there. And how many? 26 durability. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so we want to complete this layer. Sort of end up here, maybe. Uh, so all the way out here, and then the next layer down from here is going to be the blue one. And we'll see. It goes pretty deep. We might do two blue, and then two blue terracotta, and see how that looks. Where will I expect? And give me a second. Okay, back. Uh, I guess we should go get another. Potion. So let's put that down. Pearl box. I need to go and refill these. One is completely empty and the other one's running out. But well, not that. That. Oh! Not inside the wall. Inventory is becoming nice and, and uh, empty now, though. Wow! Hello, lag. Put that away again. Yeah, let's go. Oh! Need that in my hand. Oh, and the other one has, of course, run out too, so... I guess we'll use it. Why not? And fill it with water. Because that's how you... Ooh! Did I have these in my inventory all along? That's kind of silly. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's just this little section left. Nice. There are some lamps over here. I don't think they're connected. 
At least I'm not. I'm gonna assume that they are sort of that they're safe. And if they're not, then I hope I don't break them. We're just gonna do like this anyway. Ah, give me that. Yeah, I'm still offline from from Mixer Chat. Just so you know, if you're talking in Mixer Chat, I will not see it, and I don't know why. No idea what happened. All right. Okay. I need to not have stuff on my offhand that I'm not intending to place. Okay. Uh, blue concrete is next, and then this is next. But I also... That needs to go in the offhand slot. That goes in my main hand. There we go. Whew, that's a lot of work, and there's a lot more of it if we're going to replace all of it, which I think we are, because I, I like the top part so much better. Alright, I won't ignore you. Thanks for the spam. Alright, so... This lamp might be a little bit... Ooh. That is very blue. Uh... Oh, congrats, Jake. Oh, dang it. What's the point of this? Okay, so I have this project from before. And the project is replace the bottom of the, the ocean floor with some colored stuff to make it look more like a, an actual ocean when you look at it from the top. Like, if you look at the, the Caribbean or whatever, it's going to be nicely sort of blue and green, and if you look at a Minecraft ocean floor, it's gonna be yellow and and gravel and stuff. It doesn't look nice. So I want to replace it with something that looks better. But... Now we got concrete, and it looks so much better, so I'm replacing it again. <laughs> or at least I'm replacing this section just to see if it looks better. And from... Uh, like, from this point, it kind of looks better to me. That's fine, Sunka. Do not worry about it. Alright, so that's that. And one more layer of this, and then two more layers of the... Blue terracotta, which is decidedly purple, not blue. That's what Bine said. <laughs> is that a new thing? Oh, crap. Uh. Uh, what? Did, did my... Yeah, it actually dropped all the way down. Interesting. So it didn't touch the water. Has it... As I placed it, it just fell. All right. Well, we're gonna need. We're gonna need to place something to place against, and then place it. No, that's behind. Oh, come on, place it. Oh, there was a redstone under this one. Exciting. Oh, it's behind, maybe. Uh, this one is a dangerous one. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, let me go. Alright, this is the end of it. <sighs> of course I mess up the last block. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a little bit sharp, but that's okay. Okay, these onto here. And let's do it more. Mm. Yeah. I guess I might work. This is sort of very bottom of the ocean that becomes this color. There. Let's actually place this while we're at it, because that's going to be a problem too. Ooh. Now there's redstone under this. Let's see if we can not mess it up. the end of that okay I guess that's gonna keep going all the way down then but let's uh, let's at least re uh, replace one more layer so we can sort of get a, a look at how it would <sighs> look okay this is super dangerous place that and there and there so now we have a little bit of stuff to place against and this should be safe Safe-ish. <laughs> Alright, then there's all of this, and then we're done. Uh, uh, from... Ooh, okay. What? What? That was a nice piece of server lag there. Oh, there we go. That's also going to mean that our night, or not night vision, our potion of water breathing is out. Alright. Let's go get one last one of those. We're going to work in the dark for a bit here. So I actually want to see how it looks for real without night vision after I'm done with this. Come on. Because I mean, it is going to be this dark when you actually see it from top, which is the important part. That's why I'm doing this, not, not if you're under here. That doesn't matter as much. That's... okay, one more. Alright, grab those, go up. Where's... oh, where's the lighthouse signal? It's on the... it's on the far side. So you can just look at how it... Ooh, whoa! That texture, though. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this more. It's kind of the bottom, the very bottom becomes a little bit darker. Uh, I actually kind of... If I can... I want to sort of be up here somewhere. So I can see it properly. So a little more visible in the night, but... Oh, here it comes. You can still see... Can I get rid of the... No, I can't get rid of the potion stuff. Meh. 
it's not going to be perfect by any stretch of imagination, but it's it's okay. And I like the new colors. All right. Well, I think that's a pretty good progress for this. We've we've been running for almost two hours, so that's about where I'm gonna end it off. Before we do that, though, of course, there's uh, the classical uh, letting people on the server dealio, and I still haven't managed to get any more exciting uh, graphics for this, so it's all gonna happen sort of off-screen, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, forum is here. I have to edit the good responses. Download all of those. It's a little bit of a process. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work towards getting this into a better shape, but at the moment it's kind of a uh, <laughs> process. But we're gonna draw, let's draw three names from the list, and those are gonna be new players on the server. Uh, if, if I can, hello? Oh, there it is. Uh, we're gonna remove these. And then sort the thing. And this is so I can get rid of the duplicates, by the way. Because some people have signed up more than once, and it doesn't... It's not supposed to get you better chance, so... We search by nickname, and then we only pick your name if it's the first hit. So there are currently 488 entries onto this list. That is... That is quite a big list. Random.org. 488, I said. Generate me a number, please. The number is 144. We're gonna see whose name that is. On spot 144, we have Hero Brian 0412. Uh, set. One, two, number one. So, uh, I think the emails for this aren't going out properly, actually. They're supposed to email you with the email that uh, you've signed up with, but it doesn't. So I hope people see this anyway. I'm going to try to fix that. 69 is the next number. And that is uh, already a player. Let's so real roll that one. 317. Is somebody called Patrick with two T's. And then one more name for this time. It's 315. It's very close to the previous one. And that is Paco. Or Paco. Paco, I guess. Alright. So that's gonna be all for this time. Oops. If you've signed up and you haven't gotten on, I, I'm hoping to redo the system pretty soon. It will... To fix the... Problems of it not sending out emails, and to also fix the problem of people um, basically uh, sign up and then forget about it, and so they don't care really. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that will be uh, sort of a resubscribing thing to the to the um, form, basically. So you have to confirm that you're still interested uh, if you want to be able to be drawn. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you again, hopefully, in a, in a video. <laughs> but if not, uh, next stream is going to be on Wednesday, hopefully. And uh, that's going to be uh, Redstone again. Should be Entrapment Tests. So that should be really good. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, thank you, everybody, and take care.